It's official. The Pittsburgh Panthers will be facing off against the UCLA Bruins at the Sun Bowl this December. Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl Association made the announcement at a free event open to the public today held at Sunland Racetrack Casino, uh, Racetrack and Casino. And Dylan, ABC 7's Carrie Badnix got to speak with the fans today about how they are feeling. She joins us live in the studio with more. Carrie, very exciting. That's right, Rose. Those fans were pumped over the announcement today. You guys know I was excited that UCLA and Pittsburgh will be facing off tonight, right? or not tonight, in December 30th, right here in El Paso. I Pretty much everybody I spoke to was a UCLA fan, but both teams bringing so much to El Paso just year after years of struggles for the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl Committee. Pac-12, UCLA is in the house. I'll be going for UCLA. Definitely UCLA all day. Definitely UCLA. I want to see my boy DTR throw a couple of touchdowns out there. Both fans and committee members told me they think this matchup is the best thing to happen in a while. To have a 9-3 and three and an 8-4 and four team here in Sun Bowl is something that we haven't had where we fall in the bowl selections, something we haven't had in a long time. And now we have a ranked UCLA. Pittsburgh, that's right outside the rankings with 8-4. I, I couldn't think of the teams that are available to us. I, I don't think we could have done any better than, than have that matchup. Committee members say this year is promising and hoping things get back to normal after the last two years. The game was not held in 2020 due to the pandemic, and last year Miami pulled out last minute because of a COVID outbreak. Be told like we were last year when, you know, we got Washington State arriving and we're getting a phone call saying Miami's not coming. I mean, you got a lot of things you got to do and a lot of things you got to prepare for. This year we had more time, it was better, health is good, fans are better, there's going to be a lot more support, and it couldn't have worked out better for us with those two teams. Fans say this means a lot for El Paso, even for those who aren't that into football. I feel like it's going to be a lot of publicity for El Paso and really show off the culture that we have here. Actually, it means a lot, you know, like having these schools coming to El Paso and bringing all these people from Juarez, El Paso, Los Cruces, all together just to celebrate the end of the year. It's amazing. It's just one of the great traditions in El Paso. If you're a die-hard fan or just looking to attend this huge event, you can buy your tickets at the Sun Bowl Ticket Center on Executive or online. Details for that on KVIA.com. Reporting live from the studio, Carrie Mannix, ABC7. Very exciting times. All right, thank you, Carrie.